Yo, what's going on guys? I'm here checking out Espa's Life's Too Short MV. They performed this at Coachella, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be like kind of differently mixed or differently... You know, I'm going to assume they're going to switch it up a bit because uh, if they're releasing a whole MV for it. But yeah, let's check it out. I love the song from what I heard at Coachella. Should I put English subs? Like, it's already English, so yeah, I'll just do it, whatever. But yeah, let's check it out. I love. I really, really like this song. Like, this was really a vibe. Like, I'm glad it's on Spotify now, or it's going to be on Spotify so I can actually add it to my playlist and stuff. But let's check it out. Wait, did you hear what happened today? Yes. So much drama. OMG. <laughs> let's just, yo, let's go. All of this discussion, talking about nothing, you'd ever said in my face. Ooh. Think you were the gospel, but they're only trouble. I ain't got the time to wait. Hey, what's up? Life too short, you must be born out of mind. If you really take the notes and some birds. The nonsense. You've got to realize, do it me regardless. And let them care what you say about it. I like the choreo. Oh, I like that imagery. <laughs> Yo, they're talking to the haters right now, bro. <laughs> Take that nonsense somewhere else. They're so cute, man. Dude, this song is so good, man. Oh, shit. Oh, the dog. Dude, I love that. That was... Oh, I'm listening to that again, bro. This song is really good. Yo, shout out to the, the lyric writers. Like... <laughs> okay. Not to throw shade, okay? I'm sorry, but like... A lot of the times when K-pop groups do full English songs... Like, they could easily hire proper english writers and whatever but i feel like a lot of times they insist on having songs in super broken or like grammatically incorrect english which i still can enjoy because you know i like the melody and the music and it's itself but sometimes it's just like damn like if you're gonna do an english release the lyrics should make sense right and with this song the lyrics really do make sense you know because Typically, like I'm gonna assume, a lot of English people are gonna be li English speakers are gonna be listening to the song. So, uh, whenever there's like some grammatic, super grammatically incorrect English part, it just kind of takes you out of it a bit. At least for me, sometimes though, it's amazing. Like there's a lot of iconic K-pop songs with like, like, like iconic broken English lines, you know, which you know I like. But with this, I really like the lyrics, man, and just the song itself. But let's check it out again. Oh, this is such a good I'm real I'm dead ass adding this to my playlist after this. 
All of this discussion, talking out of nothing you'd ever said in my face. And their pronunciation is fire, bro. Oof, I like that Giselle that put that little spike. On that waist, like, yo. Take that nonsense, bro. I love that lyric. So take that nonsense out. Dude, the choreo. They look so good. I love Giselle's. Giselle's line. Instead of getting up in mind. Oh. <laughs> but I love how passive aggressive this song is. <laughs> Yo, Ning Ning, man. Ooh, no. <sighs> Wait, sir, looks so cute with the space buns, man. This part gives me goosebumps, man. Oh, sh yeah, that run, man. Woo That's too good, man. Dude, you hear that in the background, like, seeds too, so it's like. Oh. Seriously, man, I love the lyrics, man. Ning Ning is too good, man. Yo. <laughs> Yo, yo, it really seems like this this comeback or this like album or whatever, Karina's really showing the vocals, man. I mean she showed it like in previous title tracks and stuff, but damn bro, she's definitely belting more notes these days. And I love like it's like it has like this raspiness to it, like oh my god, it's so good. Fire, man. What a great song, bro. Seriously, just great lyrics, great message, great choreo, great song, great production, great MV. Just really, man. Like, I K pop needs songs like these, man. Like, these chill, soothing songs like this. I'm gonna check if this is on Spotify after. Oh, wait, it actually says it. Yeah, it's it's oh, coming soon. All right, so. But yeah, man, their mini, second mini album, Girls, is going to be releasing on July 8th, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's July 8th. Um, but yeah, let's check it out. Uh, we're going to check it out when it, <laughs> when it when it comes out, of course. But yeah, this was a great song. I really like this more. I actually like this way more than the Coachella version. Uh, I think it was definitely mixed. There was definitely a little bit different like mixing involved in this. It sounded a little different, you know. Then again, it's been a while since I watched the Coachella version, so I might just watch that after this because just to compare. But yeah, this was great. 